Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, I want to show you one of the most useful iPad and iPhone apps, GoodReader. So I often get asked by people that are new to iOS, maybe they just got an iPad or an iPhone, how do I get files onto the device? And by files they usually mean documents. They're used to a computer where you have a file system. The finder, you can go around and look in finder windows and create folders and fill the folders with documents. And then you can open those documents with applications. But that's not how iOS works. iOS doesn't have a file system. There's no general place where you can just look at all your stuff. Instead, each application has its own space where it can have documents. So for instance, all of your pages documents are with the Pages app. You don't see them in other apps, but when you open up Pages, you can look in there and see Pages documents that you've saved. Likewise for other things, like for instance, the Camera app can save photos. And you'll notice that some applications share documents, like the Photos app and iPhoto and the Cameras app can all see your photos. A document that you save in one application sometimes can be seen by another, like for instance, in Pages you can bring in photos or music from other parts of your device. But the question remains, if you have a bunch of documents and you want to view them in your iPad or your iPhone, how do you get them on the device? Well, you need an app. And a good app for that is GoodReader. GoodReader looks at a whole bunch of different types of documents, allows you to view them and even annotate them. Let me show you. So GoodReader costs $5 currently in the App Store and gets tons of good reviews and I'm not the only one that likes it. When you run it, here on your iPad uh, you can see documents on your left so right away you get the satisfaction of having a little file system right there even with folders. And you see some documents that you've loaded on it. The way I've loaded these documents on it is I've used iTunes. You know in iTunes you can go to the apps page of your iPad and there's a file sharing section there. So for instance on my Mac right now I'm going to drag another document, a text document in and you can see it just appears right there uh, and I can then tap it in Good reader and, and read it. And this is a simple text document, but I can scroll through it. Um, I can uh, do all sorts of different things. I can even continue to write since it's a text document. I can actually uh, add text to it and alter the document. So it's more than just a reader. As you could see, uh, it's actually something you can edit simple documents in. Lots of different things I can do. I can even share. Uh, I can um, change how I read it. Um, I've got PDFs in here as well. I can do all sorts of different things um, with all sorts of different documents. So one of the best things is that you can get documents and share them many different ways. iTunes is just one of the ways. For instance, if I go to servers here I can say I've already added my Dropbox folder to uh, GoodReader and enter the password and all that. Now I have access to all my folders and all of my different things that are stored inside of Dropbox and I can select one and decide that I want to sync it or download it and add it to my documents here. And I can see that I've added that ideas file there. So it's very easy to communicate back and forth with Dropbox and there are tons of other types of servers you can add to it including just plain old FTP servers if you've got one of those. You can also browse the web and enter a URL. So if there's something that's available uh, on the internet you can grab it and add it to your GoodReader documents. You can also manage this little file system here very easily. You can uh, say select some files and do different things like starring them, protecting them, uh, marking things as read or unread. So you can actually have a folder full of articles and things you want to read. Um, you can create new folders, of course, create even brand new text documents. You also have some settings here. For instance, there's security settings, so you can set it so that you need a password to get into your documents there, uh, making it pretty secure. Uh, you can set different settings for different types of files and things that you can do. You can store and playback uh, audio, for instance, also, um, and all sorts of different things that you can use. Uh, there's a Wi Fi transfer mode where you can actually transfer documents over a Wi-Fi network to and from GoodReader while it's running on your iOS device. You can also view PDFs, even huge ones. This bike map PDF here is a massive file that uh, is takes forever to actually look at on, on a Mac or PC, uh, let alone scroll into. And it renders it pretty quickly. You can scroll 
pretty quickly with it uh, here in Goodreader on your iPad. And that's much faster than actually on a, on a PC using Adobe Reader, for instance. So I hope you liked this look at Goodreader and saw how useful it could be. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.